Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man here with part 4 of the AVS video editor tutorial. This time we're going to be focusing on the video overlay. Last time we focused on text, so this video overlay will be pretty cool. Um, I must say something before we start this. Um, AVS video editor is not good with chroma keys. So uh, I try to limit myself by using the overlay just so I don't mess up with some stuff. And you're about to see why. So I'm just going to take this green screen of the Minecraft dude just walking. It's pretty simple, so we're just going to add that in real quick. We'll take out that intro. Alright, so what you do is just like the text and video effects, you can press this button that says Edit Overlay, or you can right-click Edit Overlay. It's going to bring up the box just similar to the text, and you can move it around, but you cannot change. You, it's going to maintain its aspect ratio. So you can do the same thing as text, have the grid lines, have the aspect ratio lines too. But I, I sometimes do that for the video overlay. So uh, what it does is it just comes out of this box and what you do is you press the chroma key. It's already automatically going to go into black so you might want to reload it in case you want to keep your black stuff in there. And you can either press this drop down for some colors or if you want to take out a specific color, you just press that box and you can take an eyedropper to it going to take that green away and if you'll notice on the Minecraft Steve already there's that green outline to it and what you do is you take this arrow right here and you can increase it to a hundred and that green is still going to be there that's a problem with AVS video editor um, I don't know if the registered version the activated version takes away the entire thing but this is not necessarily the best thing for the video editor but um, instead of that instead of just taking away the chroma key um, you can apply the transparency to it which is actually good I do that a lot uh, you can apply a mask to it which adds that cool effect to it you can add all types of these things scroll down do some of these some really unique ones in there you can also add a frame to it different textures and logos and outlooks and stuff so let's just go with this frame for now and then we will apply this mask. Oh, no, I don't like that one. I'll do that one then. Let's make it a little bit transparent and then we'll apply that chroma key as well. So let's rotate this. Make it a little bit smaller there. And another thing that I think is cool is called the trajectory, although there are some problems that I have with it. What it does is it moves the video. So you just click and drag onto the screen. It automatically makes the video smaller and move it to the right. And this green bar is the trajectory path, path that the video is going to travel on. So you can change its curve, um, you can add all sorts of dots where it's going to end up. So we're just going to go with this for now. You can change that red dot is where the video is going to start. So let's just put it over there for now. And alright, let's see what we have now. So the Minecraft Steve is walking inside of the frame and actually let's just shorten that up so you can see the frame moving by the trajectory path so there you go um, that's just a bad green screen I don't know if it's the way I downloaded it um, but I think it's the editor actually so we're gonna do another example uh, this is the American flag that the chroma key actually does work pretty well on so we're just going to mute that so we don't hear it. And once again, we're going to edit the overlay. The box will show up. Um, I'm going to make this one full screen. And then I'm going to apply a chroma key to it. Press that box. I'm just going to take out this blue color. And you'll see that I'll start off with that only strip over there. We're just going to increase this chroma key slowly. And you can see that that color starts to go away. So much though that the blue in the flag actually starts to go away too which is not good. Um, the AVS video editor isn't good with this chroma key again. So to kind of get away with it, uh, I'll apply a mask to it. It just seemed like I did that on purpose. So we'll do that. Um, we'll make it a little bit transparent too. And then we'll add a frame to it. So there it is. There's the flag waving with the background kind of away. You can still see the blue outline. So this isn't really the best idea. I'm just going to keep saying this for 
uh, take out the chroma key. So we're just going to drag this one on here. I'll show you a different style. What I do is I just make this entire thing full screen and add transparency. Just like increase the transparency up to maybe even 75, about 50. And you can still see the background and the lightning bolt thingy without having to have to take a chroma key out. So there you go. Uh, you can also add multiple lines. You can right click add line again. So you can add multiple overlays. See, so yeah, I can add two American flags in here. I want to mute that. That's pretty loud. So there's our two American flags. You can add multiple things. Um, again, the same thing with the main line. It's just like a main line video, except it's overlaying the main line. So you can change the speed of it, you can crop it, you can rotate it, change the color and audio, stabilize it, add all these effects. Except you cannot add video effects to it. Uh, that's the one drawback that I have with it. It'd be pretty cool if I, we could do that. So we'll just show another quick one. So we're going to edit this overlay. So there it is. This is actually just flames. You can also add transitions to it too, just like the old one, except these are the transitions that go into the main line. So let's just add this burning fire, and then we'll add that burning fire again. So let's just see how that works. There you go. And let's apply a chroma key to it too, see how this works. Chroma key will be black, and we'll increase it all the way. And then we'll just make this video full screen and apply a mask. So let's see how this works. It's alright. Flame kind of blends in with it. So there you go. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video overlay. And we'll go into the more. You can fade it in, fade it out, stuff like that. Normal stuff. Every line's the same, kind of, except for the different content that's on it. So yeah, this is it. Cool trajectory pass too. Let's just add this crazy one right there. So there you have it. This is the video overlay section for AVS Video Editor tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any comments, go ahead and comment below. If you like the video, press that like button. And subscribe for any more activity coming from this series.